Hey, it's John Soskovich with Farm Marketing Solutions, and we're here on day 28 of my 100 days to sell out my CSA. Now, if you remember from day 27, the video that I did yesterday, I had started a draft on a blog post for the campsroadfarm.com website. So going over to that page right now, I'm on the homepage, campsroadfarm.com, and I finally have something on the from the blog, Camps Road Farm, then and now. I'm going to click on that link and bring me to the blog post. So it brings me to the blog post. Very exciting. Has some images, uh, some text under each, each image. Has a little backstory on the farm. And I know I'm kind of scrolling through real quick here. Uh, you can go to Camps Road Farm and click on it, and you'll you'll see how I do my blog post. Uh, and you can watch the video from yesterday as well. Uh, talked about the future of the farm, uh, what people can expect for this year and then for next year or you know in the years to come but make sure I concentrate on this year and I have links up there for my egg CSA and my chicken CSA. Uh, spent a little time on this, uh, made sure I got the information in that I wanted to. Um, I was working on it last night and I was pretty tired uh, so better to put down the pen or the keyboard in this in this case and come back to it and make sure you get it exactly how you want it before you share it. Now, sharing it was the name of the game on this video, so I've created this blog post. Uh, you can use it, you know, whatever editor or website the system you use. Uh, I use WordPress, created the blog post, published it, and now it gives me that URL up on top. So I highlighted it, right-click, copy, bring it over to Facebook. I'm, on, I'm signed into my Facebook account on the Camps Road Farm page, and I'll show you a little trick uh, for making this look good. You click in the box there. Um, I hit Control V, or you can do right click and then paste. And then Facebook will create a little link for you with an image. Now, because I used so many images, we'll click back over to the blog post real quick. I used so many images on the actual post itself. Facebook is giving me a number of different options that I can use for my thumbnail. And I want to pick something that will kind of stand out and get people to go, what the heck? And I'm going to go with this one, I think. Uh, just because it's a, a weird view of the farm, I'm actually up in a cherry picker. Uh, and it's you know a little bit less saturated. Uh, the, the title of the post is Then and Now. Uh, and that's a good transitional photo, I think. Uh, so now that I, I pasted the link in here, Facebook updated this area, which gives me an image from the post that it took there, and it took a little excerpt that I wrote. I'm going to actually take this link out so you don't see the URL. People will click on it down here, uh, and that allows me to write something in here and, uh, yeah, make it look a little cleaner, a little nicer, so it just, you know, it's not so cluttered. So real quick, I added something. Uh, this is the first of many blog posts for Camps Road Farm. Here we give you a little bit of our past and share with you our plans for the future. I think it's simple to the point. Uh, when people are scanning Facebook, I found the most successful thing are images. Uh, you want to capture them with the image and uh, put a little bit of text around it. If they're really interested in it, they'll click the link and there's plenty of more text there. Writing large paragraphs never seems to work out. So then I click post and there we go. It's going up to the Facebook page. And that, my friends, is how you write a blog post, have it on your website, share that link, bring it over to Facebook, and share that blog post with your Facebook fans. So not only is it on my website now, but it's on social media as well. Uh, and you could do the same thing for uh, Twitter or whatever social network you're on. I'm concentrating on just Facebook uh, primarily, so I'm sharing it up on the Facebook page. And that's it, day 28, 100 days to sell out my CSA. Now the plug I wanna give for Farm Marketing Solutions today, if you are new to Facebook, if you haven't, you know, if you're not familiar with it, you haven't been using it, and you're looking for a little bit of instruction, go over to the farmmarketingsolutions.com website. In the top right, there's a search bar right here, and type in Facebook, and hit return. And when you hit enter, you'll get the search results, search results for Facebook. Uh, and I have, you know, case studies of things that I've done on Facebook. I have some video tutorials, farm marketing with Facebook video tutorial, uh, linking Facebook and Twitter together. Uh, a number of things, because I've mentioned it on the blog before, uh, there's a couple of articles that I've written. 
And if there's a topic you think that I might have covered or you've uh, remembered that I've covered in the past, you can always go up to the search bar, type it in, uh, and there's a good chance that you find it. And if there's a topic that I haven't covered yet that you would like me to cover, uh, be sure to write in. You can go to the contact page right here and let me know what information you'd like to hear about and I'll do my best to share. There's me with my chicken tractors. Uh, I'll do my best to share it on the farmmarketingsolutions.com website. Thanks for tuning in. I uh, hope you're enjoying the videos. Um, have a nice night. And uh, until next time, I will see you out in the fields.